Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be checking out the Alara 114th four-wheel drive brushless buggy. Now from what I can see, this is the first version of their buggy that comes with a brushless system right out of the box. It's good for 2 and 3S. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it out on the bench, we're going to check it out, and we're going to see everything that comes with it. All right, so this is everything that comes in the box. You obviously have the buggy itself. I love the purple anodizing. It kind of reminds me of early HPI. They always came with the purple anodizing and I always thought that looked really, really cool. There's something right now that I hope you guys are noticing on this buggy because it's definitely different than a lot of the rest of the 114 scales that you can see out there. If you haven't seen it yet, don't worry, we're gonna get into it when we dive deeper into the buggy over here. 2.4 gigs transmitter. It's good for, I think it is 500 feet comes with a little purple surround on the wheel i like that it sort of matches the buggy but this here is the accessory kit that comes in the box and i believe uh, yeah, i think it's right there you can see the battery so what i want to do is i'm going to get this open so i can get the battery charging because like i mentioned i do want to get this out first take it for a quick rip and then come back in and actually talk about it all right guys for this video i am not using the included charger it's a usb type a to 2s balance port charger the only reason is is one i thought i would just be able to show it to you guys this way as well as this is probably going to do a faster job so all i've done is i've got the included battery connected to my charger it's a 2s i've got it charging at 2.8 amps because this is a 2800 milliamp lipo so we're going to be good to go there but since we have a little bit of time, I thought I would go over some of the stuff that's in the accessory pack. So obviously, guys, we have the charger, we have the battery, but we also get this big front bumper. And personally, guys, I think this is a cool idea because I have a feeling like this buggy will be going to a lot of new users or to younger kids, you know, to practice on and stuff like that. And you know what? If you're running out in front of your house where there's curbs and stuff like that, this is definitely, guys, going to be a much appreciated add-on <laughs> because it's definitely going to save you some parts on your buggy however if you do happen to break it the buggy itself guys comes with a set of full arms so you have all four arms here as well as guys over here which i thought was really really cool is you have a front cbd so yes the front of the buggy does come with cbds as well as guys a rear dog bone and you can see the axles here so those are also included You've got a little toolkit. You've got like a little kind of Phillips screwdriver, something like your wheel nut wrench. You've also got spare uh, body clips with the little kind of tethers on them, which is nice. And in this bag, guys, you've got your wheel nuts, hexes, and then right here, you can see it's got that little kind of purple sort of washer thing. Same sort of thing that's on, let's say, something like a Traxxas Max or whatever. So you're going to go there. So it does come, guys, with a lot of included parts. Gets you going. You got your manual. I went through a bit of it. If you're new to the hobby and this is your first RC, you're going to want to go through this. You're going to want to understand a lot of the things that are going on in here, especially with the LiPo, LVC, all that kind of stuff. If you are been in the hobby for a while, eh, it might not hurt to go over it quickly, but my guess is you probably won't and you'll probably be okay if you don't. Now, here, it does come with the included 2.4 gigs radio, which is good for about 500 feet. 500 feet on a 114 scale is a lot. And I can tell you guys right now with my eyes, uh, yeah, if I was 500 feet away, I wouldn't see this thing anyway. So I won't have any problem with that. All right, so I definitely gotta say guys, the body looks really, really good. The purple, the grays, the silver, this pattern here, which by the way, is sort of a bit of a giveaway for what I was referring to earlier about something that this buggy has. And if you guys haven't noticed it yet, you know what, I'll just keep swinging around, letting you guys take a look. Because again, we're gonna head outside right now. We're gonna drop the battery in it and we're gonna see guys what this thing is like. I wanna get a feel for it before I talk any more about it, talk about its handling and all that kind of stuff. Uh, get an idea of how it performs. This is a 3S buggy. It comes with a 2S LiPo. So at some point, hey, maybe we will drop the uh, a 3S in it, which obviously you have to provide yourself. But let's head outside and try this buggy out.
All right, guys, so stay tuned. That was just a quick rip. I wanted to get a feel for the buggy. There's a full video coming. It'll probably be out within the next day. But I did not want to keep talking about this buggy without driving it first. I don't have a lot of experience with 114 scale buggies or 114 scale guys in general. So I didn't want to talk and, and be kind of explaining everything and going over everything this buggy has without driving it first and getting a feel for it. And I don't know, guys, if it came across in those short little clips, but I was genuinely, guys, surprised at this little buggy. All right, guys, we're going to start with the ESC. It's a 2 to 3S 45 amp ESC. It comes with a 2847 3200 kV motor, and I believe it's a 1.7 kilogram steering servo. Now, I want to address these two things first, so the motor and the steering servo. Running this on 2S, the motor was good to go. I had no issues. As soon as I put in the 3S, I did notice that when I got the truck back on the tailgate that this motor was getting pretty warm. I think if we could somehow get like a smaller heatsink on here, it would definitely help. Or, guys, I was thinking possibly maybe just venting the body back here a little bit. Now, when this sits on here, obviously, guys, the air is going to kind of come through the back here. But I still think that if we had maybe some type of venting here, a little hole, something like that, that would just allow the immediate heat from the motor to kind of dissipate, that would definitely probably help. Now, for the servo. So the funny thing is 1.7 kilograms sounds like pretty much nothing. But in something, guys, this big, it's actually, guys, very adequate. It's got good torque and it's very quick. And it's actually, guys, the quickness of the servo that's a little bit of the issue. I found the buggy to be a little bit twitchy because, again, the servo does respond very well. And you can see a couple times, or actually you will see, guys, a couple times in that next video where I had kind of a bit of an issue lining up the jump. But what I'm thinking, guys, it should be kind of an easy fix. If we remove this servo horn and maybe put something, guys, a little bit longer on, which will allow for a little bit more of a throw. It shouldn't bind up anything here, but it would allow for a little bit more of a throw. It would probably sl slow things down a little bit. And again, guys, I think that would greatly improve the steering on this buggy. Again, the servo works great. Usually I'm always commenting that, you know, an included servo isn't enough. Where in this case, guys, with this little buggy, these little tires, it works really, really well. There is no way on the stock transmitter to adjust that. It would be kind of nice maybe in the future if Alaro uh, includes a transmitter that you could kind of slow that down a little bit. Obviously, guys, again, like I'm saying, the steering servo works great. It would just be nice to adjust that a little bit and slow yeah. things down. Throughout the video, guys, I've been talking about something that I thought was really, really cool. I haven't mentioned it yet. You've seen it a lot. I'm pretty much focusing in on it right now. And that is, guys, all the carbon fiber. So this buggy, guys, right out of the box, comes with a carbon fiber chassis, carbon fiber front and rear shock tower. You have carbon fiber hinge pin carriers throughout, as well as, guys, a carbon fiber, I don't know, I guess you can call it an Ackerman plate as part of the steering uh, assembly there, which for a bucky right out of the box to have, I think is pretty impressive. So again, brushless, carbon fiber, 114 scale, definitely makes, guys, for a fun little buggy. And it definitely, guys, looks very, very cool. I've had it, you know, kind of sitting in front of me. You guys know I always like to bring my new vehicles around the house and kind of stare at them a bit. And even my son actually, you know, today when we took the buggy out, he was carrying it and he was like, Dad, you know, you think this can be mine? He's like, I really like the purple. He's like, you know, I like the way the anodizing looks and all that stuff. Because I'm always talking about that kind of stuff with him. I'm always talking about anodizing and, you know, how an RC looks and, you know, just the presentation. Because, hey, it's always nice to get something out of the box that generally, guys, just looks good. It almost looks like it could be modified. This could have aftermarket carbon fiber shock towers. It could have aftermarket chassis on it but yet it comes right out of the box like this again i think that's just super cool now when it came to the tires guys obviously running on the baseball field like i was doing was not the greatest place for it you could tell that this thing spun like crazy it spun even more crazy when i put the 3s in it uh, i didn't want to run it in the grass just because our grass is so thick and it was fairly long that for obviously guys a little buggy like this uh, i don't think it would have been very good on it probably would have been even harder on the motor and esc but the tires themselves are still together. There was no issue there. And lastly, guys, I'm just going to quickly go over the battery tray. So the battery tray is set up for this guy right here. This is the included 2800 milliamp 2S LiPo. It fits in perfect. The Velcro strap totally holds it in perfect. All is good. But you'll see later, guys, in the next video, when I tried to strap this guy in, it didn't work. And the reason is, and I didn't notice, guys, until I got up there today, 
you can see sort of that lower part underneath the ESC that kept the battery from fitting. So I ended up doing some kind of like this sort of thing in it, which did hold. And again, I was taking a couple little jumps and I had no issues. So again, if you're going to be running 3S in this, this battery did fit wonky like and it's just guys it's just a smaller little 3s 2200 gen 6 bashing lipo but yeah you might want to just kind of check you know um for different kind of sizes and stuff like that again i have a couple of the 3s's that i'm going to try i just grabbed this one i thought oh this is going to work it's only 2200 milliamps it'll charge up quick but yeah it was kind of sitting off to the side and i mean not the greatest way to put a battery in and one other thing guys i forgot to mention is that this buggy does come with a lot of metal parts right out of the box so you have a metal center drive shaft you have metal CVDs in the front. You have metal dog bones in the rear. You have uh, metal ring and pinions as well. So definitely you shouldn't have a problem with those parts ever, you know, breaking or chipping because again, you're only running this thing on 2S, sometimes 3S. So I cannot see, again, breaking a tooth or something like that being a problem. All right, guys, there you have it. The Allura 114 scale four-wheel drive brushless buggy. First guys, impressions. And after that quick run today, I am very impressed with how this buggy handles. The performance is on par. You'll see in that next video, guys, where I took a couple of nose plants and the buggy survived. Zero issues at all. I was also, guys, very impressed with the fact that even though I was running this on the baseball field with the dirt and all the little pebbles and all the little rocks, that I never had one bind up anywhere. I never got anything, you know, kind of impacting my steering, the drive shafts, or nothing. And that, guys, to me was very, very cool. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and enjoy the pics.